Hey Clashers, the last of the Colorfest challenges is in-game. Now we'll show you, as you can see right here, the easiest way on how to beat this challenge with the great overkill to claim the rewards. As well, if you're thinking about buying anything from the in-game shop, like gold pass, skins, whatever, make sure to, to support your favorite content creator out there. If videos like these help you, make sure to use code ITZU. Really appreciate that, but now let's dive into the plan. We're starting things off with taking down this entire top side with our Royal Champion and a couple of spells. I will show you how that's done. And then you can use the dragons in from the bottom right side because nothing else is really left at this point. But I will show you everything step by step and we will take our time, okay? So let's zoom in. Let's concentrate on the first tile, and this is the mo like this is the place where you want to drop the first earthquake. That being said, let's zoom even in further. And the next light tile, we want to play two lightning spells. The next one, just straight onto that uh, spell tower. Everything all right. Now, drag now a line between this one wall piece and the outside, and make sure to deploy your royal champion. Use her ability right away to take this entire bottom side down. And this means our Royal Champion only has to go for the top side. At this point, concentrate on two things. First off, the deployment um, deployment area for your Skeleton spell. And as soon as that Inferno Tower is down, you're going to deploy it. Then a couple of Headhunters. Make sure you're like surgically putting them in, not spamming them in. And at this point, your Royal Champion already did, did a great job. If everything went to plan, you should be able to take down the top air defense as well. If that does not go down... Don't worry, you have seen what an overkill this is going to be, but it would be nice. Next thing is you play four loons each on those defenses and then spam everything into this eagle compartment. The next thing you have to do, rage those dragons up, put some rocket loons on the right side and make sure this rage is covering all of those dragons even if they're going for the town hall. At this point, you can freeze the bottom thing in front tower, you can freeze the town hall, the scatter shots, all of those are great targets, but it depends on how your dragons are splitting up. You always want to protect the biggest group of dragons. In my case, it was more like the bottom side, and that's where I invested most of the spell step. But it always depends on how your dragons are splitting up, but you can see how many dragons we have left alive, and this is going to be a huge overkill, as I promised. Even with the backhand air defense, this would not matter whatsoever. Because we have just so many dragons left alive in this one. I hope this approach, this solution was really easy to follow. Really easy to copy. And make sure that you can easily get the Thresh Tower on this base. I have to say, one of my favorite challenges. Because it's a really nice Royal Champion trick, which you can pull off to get those Thresh Towers. I think everyone should be able to do this with this with this uh, video. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And as always, we will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.